boarded up businesses, fenced off parks, homelessness, also a surge in gun violence. They're all problems the city of Portland is dealing with right here in the downtown area. So what's being done to come up with solutions and could a change in the city's form of government help? Some in the city are advocating to make a change. Gun violence is surging in Portland. The amount of shootings hitting record numbers. The mayor should be doing something about it. They should be the ones here right now. Walk door to door. Police have fewer resources to respond. This has been going on for nine months. Where's our resources? Calls for social justice continue. I think we have a, a huge opportunity here to to start to change the paradigm of, of public safety. And homelessness touches nearly every neighborhood. These are some of the major issues Portland is facing right now. The City Club of Portland has been studying whether the city's form of government is the most effective to solve these issues and has been for two years. And so that was a concern among some of the members of the City Club and, and, and including some members of the board and that then moved itself to having research um, groups that uh, focused on these topics. Mark Stefan is a board member for the City Club, which is pushing for a change away from Portland's current commission form of government. In this form of government, each commissioner has the responsibility to manage three different bureaus and the rest are managed by the mayor. They are sort of overseeing it in a fragmented way as administrators and they're also legislating the overall look of the city. And that combined role can be problematic, and that's, that's sort of where we're at right now. Ellen Selgin, an associate professor of political science at Lewis and Clark College, says the commission form of government was very popular just over 100 years ago. Now, Portland is the only major city where it remains. She says one of the problems is trying to manage the bureaus in a city this size. It was supposed to be the most professional and efficient forms of government, but research has shown that that's not the case. Kind of bu the bureaus are too complex and big, and you really need someone with kind of more, you know, a, an eye towards long-term planning. City Council member Mingus Mapp says he's in support of moving to a different form of government. That's one of the reasons why the city can't get its act together, and that's one of the reasons why I have been advocating for um, changing our form of government for many years at this point. Map says he's in favor of management falling to a single person, either a mayor or city manager. He says in Portland, it's a much different approach than its peers to address an issue like a homeless camp. But in the city of Portland, to address that same problem, you have to get the commissioner in charge of the police department, to work with the commissioner in charge of homeless services, to work with the commissioner in charge of parks in, to, in order to address, um, you know, camping um, in some public space. MAPS is working with the city charter commission to express these concerns to them. The commission meets every 10 years to examine Portland government and is meeting right now. For Stefan, another issue is only having four city councilors that aren't tied geographically to one part of the city. Generally speaking, more voices doesn't mean that we make quicker decisions. Maybe it means the opposite, but we make decisions where there's more buy-in to those decisions. There's more legitimacy to those decisions. Those pushing for a change say what it all comes down to is if some of the major issues in the city could be solved easier. Can we have a more effective government if we change the form of government? I think City Club and many others think that we can. The City Charter Commission will hold more upcoming public meetings where they want your ideas on what could be done differently. The whole process takes about two years total. And we expect to hear if the Charter Commission will recommend some changes by June of 2022. In downtown Portland, Will Metzold, Fox 12, Oregon.